Okay, so we're in the Sierra platform, and I want to point out a couple of things before we open the chart book. First of all, we're going to look at auto trading. Now, the default with Sierra is to disable auto trading on startup. This is to protect you from accidentally trading without you knowing it. If you uncheck this, Sierra may start up auto trading automatically when you open it up, and you might not want that. So I recommend you leave this checked at all times. Let's open the chart book that we're looking at, the NQ, and we're going to turn on trade simulation mode. This is the mode where it completes trades locally. It doesn't go to any server. It's used for backtesting and for, for demonstrating uh, like I'm doing right now. Now you'll notice that on this side is the regular trading hours, RTH, regular trading hours chart. This is set for, um, well, it's a 24 hour chart, but in the, in the program, it's set for 9.30 Eastern to 4.15 Eastern. Those are the New York trading times. That's, that's why we have that time zone. This one is the Globex trading hours. This one's from 1800 Eastern to 930 Eastern the next day. During, depending on what time it is, you'll see arrows on the left or on the right or not at all. This allows you to set up a back testing or a forward testing system that will automatically switch from trading at day and night. Uh, of course, you could do that with live money as well, but that really wasn't the intent. Right now, it's set to not trade. As I told you, we need to turn on this symbol here, this uh, feature here, Auto Trading Enable Global. Now, if, it, if a bar forms with an arrow, it'll actually take the trade on the next bar. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, I want to show you how we speed things up without going to the menu. We're going to customize this control bar. I want to add some buttons for auto trade. So I want to put it right here at the top, right after the first, right after the status bar. So we scroll down to trade and go down to auto trade on off global. We'll add that and then we're going to have auto trade on off chart. We'll add that. Okay, notice they abbreviated ATG and ATC. Auto trade global, auto trade chart. Okay, and say okay. All right, so now auto trade global is checked and the button is in. If I click the button out, auto trade is not checked. Auto trade chart is out, auto trade chart is auto trade chart is done. So these are tied to each other. Basically it's a shortcut. So auto trade chart and auto trade global have to both be on for a particular chart. Now auto trade global means whatever chart books you have open, not just the ones you're looking at, whatever chart books you have open, it will enable auto trading from any charts in those chart books that have auto trade chart enabled. So global is like the master switch the master breaker for your house. You turn that switch off, everything goes off in the house. You turn it on, whatever was on before, now comes back on. Auto trade chart means I only want to, I want to trade on this chart, but maybe I don't want to trade on this chart. If I, if I turn that one off, this chart is, not tra is, is off, but this one is on. You can see the button goes in and out as I select the chart. It's very handy to check the status and to quickly change it. All right, so now I've got it enabled here. It looks like we might get a trade, but not yet. Um, a couple other things. The auto trade chart is saved with the file when you save the chart book. So when I opened up this chart book, it wanted to auto trade on both charts, which is fine because one's going to trade during regular trading hour and one's going to trade during Globex. But always be aware which charts have auto trade enabled and disable them on any you don't want to trade. 
Remember, auto trading is not a set and forget. Auto trading helps you get into the trade, but you want to be there and watch it to make sure it goes okay. Go the, the replay button here, replay a chart. I want to just trade the single chart. I'm going to do standard replay because standard replay, it's not, it's not the most accurate, but it's very basic. You can go from bar to bar quickly. So I want, if I check this time, put in today's date, I'm going to put 9.29 right before the market opens, and I click play. It asks if you want to clear the data, and I'll say yes. And only this chart is reloading because I only said single chart. Okay, so now we're at right before the market opens. If I click on this, you can see... It's at 929, 920. That's bar opened at 928. So let me just speed this up a little and see what happens. Okay. Actually, what the nice thing about standard replay is you can go one bar at a time. So I'm going to go, I'm going to just click ahead, one bar at a time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pause there. Now notice. It entered the trade short, minus one, at 6593.75. That's this red line here. We got a 10 point target, or 10 tick target. So it needs to go to 6591.25. And the stop is 30 ticks, 6601.25. All right, so let's watch this and see how it plays forward. Uh, the other chart shows them as well because it's the same symbol. It doesn't mean that you're, d you're not double trading. It's just indicating the s status of the other chart. Okay, this one looks like it's not going to... Okay, so we just had a 30 tick loss there. That was not so good. So let's, let's move ahead and see if we can find some other ones. Okay, now what's happening? I don't see any arrows. Oh, I know. Okay, well, let's go look at something else here. I'm going to pause that so it doesn't... Let me pause that so it doesn't keep playing. Okay, so one of the things we've built into this is the ability to protect your daily loss. Okay, one one lot one bad trade here. I've gone thirty ticks. That's over. More, that's more than a hundred dollars. Okay. Well, I do want I do want to see. Uh, I do want to keep going. So since this is pretend money, I'm going to change that. Let me turn off trading for this chart right now, just to be safe. Go into the study settings. And click on settings or double click. And you'll see we have the minimum ticks value. That's the number of ticks that needs to be above the previous close to be cyan, but it has to be no more than 24. 24 is the dark. If it's over 24, it's the dark cyan. Minus 100 is the m maximum amount of money I'm willing to lose before I stop auto trading. So I'm going to change that. Since I've already lost 150 here, I'm going to change this to 200. Let's just make it 300. All right. And then the daily profit if I make a hundred ticks then it's going to stop trading. Okay, so this the arrows have come back on. And it looks like there was a trade I missed during that time. So I can just go back, I can stop and go back. Let's try this again. What looks up we'll go ahead a little. We'll go to nine thirty five. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my auto trade back on for the chart, and we're going to single step. Okay, mm -hmm. we just entered a trade there. We'll let this one go. Okay, it just got 10 ticks. All right, let's keep going. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, that's another one. See how it goes. Now at any time I can flatten this trade. I don't have to wait. If I th if I think I've made a it's made a mistake, I could just flatten. Well, see, I was too late. Okay, so that's 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 how you back test. That's how you or that's how you replay. Now, if you wanted to do a more extensive testing, what you would do is let's say uh, let's let's see what time period you're looking at. So right now the chart is set for 45 days. You can change this. But we could go back and see where that takes us. That's that takes us back to December 26. Okay, so what I'm going to do? I'm just going to change this to 17, 12, 26, and 9, 29, and I'll do accurate trading system backtest mode. This is this is a little more accurate. It's just something you let it run by itself, and you can speed it up to something like 60 ticks, 60 times normal normal time. And we do play. We're going to clear the data and let it run. Okay, now 26 looks like it was a um, kind of a slow day so far. Okay, now uh, let me pause that while I while I show you something else. Let's turn on live simulated trading. We've seen how to do back testing and to replay. Now we're going to do live simulated trading. So there's two things you want to do. Before we do that, let's turn off the automated trading. We turn off trade simulation mode. And it says we're going live now. It goes to my broker account on the simulated server. In order to enable live trading, there's another step you have to take as a safety precaution. Go into studies, go into ID5 S3, which is the study that does the auto trading. You want to go down to send orders to trade service and change that to a yes. So this is an F extra safety breaker, circuit breaker for you to protect you so that you you don't accidentally you you have to want to trade live live sim or live real money and now we say okay and if we try to do any replay it'll switch us, it'll want to switch back to trade sim mode but now that we're connected to the system the server we're going to turn on auto trade global and we'll wait and see what happens okay now maybe nothing happens but since this is a simulated server, you could let this run overnight and see see what happens. Now, the steps would be the same if you're connected to the live production real money server. The difference is you're being trading with real money. Okay, so finally, can I leave AutoTrade on? Well, yeah, it's risky. What AutoTrader does is it speeds up the analysis of the setup conditions and signals entries faster than most people can. Now you might be watching several charts, you might have one chart book up and another one in the background. Auto Trader can ring a bell and enter a trade or let you know that it wants to enter a trade quickly. And then you can de decide if it, you want to go try that manually or let it do it. Now it's meant to quickly get you into the trade based on the rules of the system. Now this system's fairly basic. You can have other systems as well. It's a good idea to monitor the market and disable auto trading if conditions are not right. So if, let's say it's lunchtime and it's choppy and it's low volume, we might want to just turn off trading for that chart. Maybe you want to go take a break, go for a walk, eat lunch, okay? Just turn it off. If you need to take control, you can always take control. You can always flatten a trade you can adjust the stops, you can adjust the target, you can be the master here. You don't have to let it exit the trade for you, even if it entered the trade. And you don't have to turn off auto trade chart to take over control. You just do it. Now, 
you might be faster than you and exit the trade before you had a chance. That's that's part of part of being quick. So leaving auto trader on is therefore not a good idea. But people will do the capabilities there. Some of you will decide to do this. Uh, you, you do so at your own risk. I wish you luck. I hope everything works out. For more information, tradingfibs.com is the trading room that I belong to and where I learned a lot of this. Forgivingcomputers.com is my website. You can find me on Facebook, Forgiving Computers, Twitter, at Forgiving Comps, uh, my YouTube channel, and you can email me at forgivingcomputers at gmail.com. So thank you, and I hope everything goes well for you.